What's up guys, this is Merc Music, and today we're going to be reacting to the Modern Warfare 3 gameplay reveal. This one kind of caught me by surprise, but at Gamescom 2023, they are showing off Modern Warfare 3 campaign gameplay. I have no clue what's showing right now, but there's going to be some other games being shown off as well, but we're mostly just going to focus on Call of Duty for today. Oh, it's starting soon. Night Live is now mere seconds away from starting. Seconds? Thank you so much. <laughs> that voice crack, sure. though. But yeah, guys, we're not going to be getting Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer gameplay quite yet. That's definitely what I want to see the most and actually be able to play, but still, I'm definitely looking forward to the Modern Warfare 3 campaign and I'm not exactly sure what they're gonna show off like there's that part of me that hopes they go big and they show off like the no Russian mission that we know is most likely going to be in Modern Warfare 3 they're showing off some Starfield stuff right now Ooh, I was gonna say I'm definitely looking forward to streaming Starfield which speaking of streaming on YouTube which is where I'm watching this right now this Thursday on YouTube I'm finally going to be doing that massive infinite warfare supply drop opening it's all stuff that I earned for free and I can open roughly a couple hundred supply drops so make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications if you don't want to miss that stream it's gonna be insane also make sure to drop a like for this guy's amazing piano playing like what the? Oh, we got some Starfield gameplay. The audio on YouTube is like really cutting down. It's weird. I might switch this to Twitch. Let's see. Guys, after a million ads, they're only streaming at 1080p 60 anyway, so it's only gonna be so good. Can't wait to see these games in 4K though, man. It's gonna be nuts. The early access is on September 1st. We are going to be doing that immediately. Uh, and you know, thank you so much for that spectacular performance. Really appreciate you coming all the way for this. That's so awesome. Uh, <laughs> Let's go. Where's the security? So disappointing. This is such a special night for so many developers. It's really disappointing to see someone uh, act that way. But we're gonna move right on with the show. We've got a lot of great games to show. Yikes, dude. Dude, Jeff handled that like a boss, man. I know we're sitting here waiting for Modern Warfare 3, but... It's largely focused on announced games, but we do have a few surprises along the way. And next, it's time for the global reveal of the third installment in a franchise that is very familiar to Gamescom fans. Here we go. It. This has got to be Modern Warfare 3. Come on. Wait. Oh, it's not Call of Duty. <laughs> This looks really cool, though. That looks nuts. What the Black Myth Wukong, man? That ain't Call of Duty. <laughs> Unless it's the zombies mode. <laughs> you know, if this was the Modern Warfare 3 zombies reveal... Okay, Killing Floor 3, Jesus. That's looking nasty. What the fuck is this shit, dude? It's like a bunch of little ants. Age of Empires 4. Where's the Why? Call of Duty? I switched back to the YouTube stream. I think the video and audio quality is actually better. I don't know what Twitch be doing, but it don't look or sound as good. Yeah, we got the Modern Warfare 3 gameplay right here. Slide cancel. Just kidding, I'm pretty sure it's Payday 3. It's looking pretty sick though, dude. Oh, we got jump kicked. Yeah, that was Payday 3. That's looking pretty fun. Take it out. <laughs> Single player arcade mode. Ah. What the? Dude, what? Wait, what? They got a bear playing with Call of Duty and the codfish. Oh my god, look at it go. Still waiting for Modern Warfare 3, man. Where is it? Not gonna lie, though. There's some amazing games being shown off today. It's looking good. All right, I'm now joined by Shelby Carlton and Dave Swenson from Sledgehammer because on November. Call of Duty! It is time. Uh, Campaign Dave gameplay, Shelby, boys. Welcome. We also have open world zombies. This is our lar largest zombies. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, it's going to be zombies in war zone. We already know. Warfare. This year, we are bringing a huge innovation to the Call of Duty campaign. Yes, let's talk a bit about the campaign. Co-op, please. Uh, Co-op. Uh, Makarov, I know, is going to factor into this. See him over there. Um, tell we us know that. Is... Open combat missions are player directed. They allow the audience to. Oh, here we go. Hey, they want to play it. So if you're like me and you like stealth, you can Go in quiet, you can equip, suppress weapons, complete all the objectives without the enemies ever knowing you were there. We got a MTZ556. You can strap on armor plates, you can go and hit the enemy head on, and open combat missions will support. Oh, nice. You can that is definitely what I would do. Look at that. That's a battlefield moment right there, boy. <laughs> you can even use your favorite kill streaks in campaign. Kill streaks in campaign. Okay. Okay. Really important to our campaign story. And they're going to work seamlessly with those epic cinematic missions that Call of Duty fans know and love. And tonight, we want to show. I mean, as long as the open world stuff is good, then I think we should be fine. Kill streaks in campaign. That'll be interesting. Set it up for us, Shelby. What are we going to see? This is the start of the game almost, right? Oh, no. So this is I was hoping it was going to be no Russian. The very first level of Modern Warfare 3. This is called Operation 627. All right, check it out. Operation 627. Okay. Was that Captain Price's gulag number?
going underwater. This is giving me some serious, like, original Modern Warfare 2 vibes where you're, like, going underwater. Can't remember if it was, like, breaching the oil rig or not. Pretty sure it was, though. Yeah, this is, like, super familiar. The Modern Warfare 2, like, the, the Navy SEALs. We're getting so much, like, original Modern Warfare 2 throwback in Modern Warfare 3. We got the Gulag. And we've already kind of seen bits and pieces of this from the reveal. Phase 1 complete. Draw the copies. We're set. Roger that. Moving to Phase 2. Patrol boat to o'clock. Get under. Now, the question is, who are they trying to break out? Like, well, I'm not exactly sure which group, but they want to break Makarov out of the Gulag. Oh, here we go. We got the actual gameplay, Operation 627. Let's go. Roger, no movement. Hey, Roger, that sounded like gas. Now, obviously, since this is stream quality, it might not look as good. I kind of have a feeling that they're going to upload this in a higher quality, though, so I might try to substitute that if I can. Fire the line launcher. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Almost puked. Here we go. Breaching the gulag. And we saw that shot. It looks very cinematic. Like, the seamlessness between kind of like that more cinematic stuff and then the gameplay is actually pretty nuts. I think everyone that was invited out to that event, this might be what they were kind of talking about. Where the graphics are even better. The night vision is like more blue now. And Modern Warfare 2 2022 is like more green. It's so crazy how they managed to kind of switch up the night vision every single time. Huh? Sit down. What kind of gun we got here? What is that? Reload. Show the weapon name. We need names. Alpha to Bravo 1. Marking with IR. Confirm visual. Visual, Bravo inbound. <laughs> oh my god, it makes me think of duty calls. I am a paratrooper. This is a realistic war scenario. <laughs> it was just the first guy. He looked kind of goofy. All right, here we go. Alpha to Charlie, you set? Affirmative. All teams, green to go in phase two. Check. Yeah, it definitely feels like they're still going with the slower, more tactical, kind of, like, realistic missions so far. I mean, just like all the other campaigns, there's still gonna be, like, the over-the-top crazy action missions, too, but... When it comes to a gameplay reveal, I really wish that they would pick missions that are, like, more intense. Kind of a better demonstration of how insane things get to get people excited. Like, don't get me wrong, I like missions like this, but to hype the game up? I don't know. Oh, here we go. Like a prisoner transfer. Not our guy. On me. Hold up here. Oh my Hold god, there's the so the many. Copy. Bravo sick. Charlie, good to go. Roger. Fire in the hole. Stand by. Are they about to drop a missile? Two, one. They're Six. dropping a missile. Oh! They're taking the bait. Well, don't Fire shoot him. What? Oh, maybe you will shoot him. Okay. <laughs> this aim, though. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, shoot at their legs. The weak spot. <laughs> That'll show up. Wait, only six rounds left? Wow, that went fast. Scorpion Evo 3? Okay, so the Scorpion, that leak was true. My goodness. This is like the Scorpion for Black Ops 2, isn't it? My god. Dude. Three smoke grenades? Maybe a little overkill. On me. Move. This is great. Let's pop the hatch. Let's go. Stay close. They're going down. Bravo. Alpha's in the tunnels. What's your status? Outside the control room. Wait on you. Copy. And they have Stand got by. to crank the brightness up. Maybe put your night vision back on? No? Okay. It's looking pretty dark. Oh, here we go. Oh my god. There we go. We can see now. <laughs> Slowly descending to shoot him. Oh my god. Kick off the riot. 
Yo, can you not aim in this sequence? I guess not. This is just pure chaos. Oh, better get him. Oh, a bunch of riot shields. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be another year of Call of Duty with Riot Shields, unfortunately. But I think we already kind of saw that coming because of the whole Modern Warfare 2 carry forward thing. The Dracor 556. What was all that? I'm not even sure exactly what this gun is. Oh, the mattress just fell down. It's on fire. Oh, that, hey, that was a slick little hybrid scope switch move right there. <laughs> Pro gamer. All right, let's see if we're busting out Makarov. Clear. Yo, how far down into the gulag do we have to go to get him? Alpha moving on sub level. Oh, this. Oh, okay, this has got to be it. He gets the special door. I thought that was a heart for a second. It had to, like, render in, but it's like a diamond shape. Because <laughs> that Makarov gets the special door. Oh, man. They're really, like, really taking it slow with showing off Modern Warfare 3, man. I understand. It looks pretty good so far. I mean, it looks like the Modern Warfare 2 campaign, but, like, revamped. Call of Duty next, the premier showcase event for Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer. Call of Duty Mobile and when's it happening takes place. We're announcing it tonight on October 5th and jump. Okay, October 5th. There we go. Kicks off on October 6th. We have so much more. And there's the multiplayer bit. It's on the 6th of October, man. I was trying to back it up for a second so we could go back to the open combat mission stuff because that was one of my biggest concerns. Because the linear story missions in Call of Duty is basically what all of us are really playing for. It's for the set pieces. It's to go on missions and complete them. Like, that's just what Call of Duty has always been. And the open combat stuff is obviously more open world. It's going to let you kind of have a little bit more freedom, which I think is fine as long as it's kind of spread out appropriately. This is something that genuinely had me worried because of the change of direction with Halo Infinite. You basically play like a couple of traditional halo missions and then the rest of the campaign was open world and i just was not that big of a fan of that now this entire time they have said that it's basically like a 50 50 split like it's gonna be half linear missions and then half of this open combat stuff i'm just hoping that the open combat missions are actually good and fun to play and that they're not gonna take up too much of the time for the modern warfare 3 campaign but yeah man overall it's looking pretty good the cinematics are actually weirdly reminding me of advanced warfare i'm not exactly sure if they got a big helping hand from infinity ward as far as it goes for the cinematic side of this campaign because these cinematics really remind me of advanced warfare cinematics but when we skip ahead and when we're looking at sections like this i mean it's the modern warfare 2 campaign being extended for sure without a doubt like this kind of stuff right here is the new staple of infinity wards campaign gameplay without a doubt as far as it goes for expectations like i fully expected them to kind of show off some more gameplay like this because this is the trend that they've been kind of following with the new modern warfare reboot series but there was that tiny little part of me that was hoping that they were going to show off makarov and potentially even the no russian mission i know that would kind of like give things away or spoil things too soon but man that would have been awesome to see but yeah guys that was the modern warfare 3 campaign reveal what do you guys think about the gameplay so far does seeing this stealthy gulag mission get you guys more excited for the game or not so much definitely let me know in the comments below and with that being said thank you guys very much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed watching me react to the first official modern warfare 3 campaign gameplay if you guys did enjoy this video and you want to see some more brand new modern warfare 3 stuff make sure to drop a like i'll see you guys later